Okay, so now that you've got the app installed into your org, there's a couple components that we need to make sure are configured properly before you'll actually be able to start dialing. And that is to make sure that the begin dial session button is added to the leads and contacts modules. So we're gonna jump over to the object manager. We're gonna to go to contacts first. We'll open up the contact module here. In the contact module, we're gonna go down to the search layouts option. In search layouts for the default layout, we're gonna go ahead and edit this. And this begin phone burner session button, we need to make sure that it is one of your selected buttons. So if you come in here and you see it on the left as an available button, you need to make sure that you get it added over as a selected button. Once you've made that change, go ahead and save. We're also gonna go down into the search layouts for Salesforce Classic, and we're gonna make sure that in the list view layout, we're gonna edit this. We're gonna make sure that the begin phone burner session button is added to the selected button section here as well and save. And that's it for the contact object. Let's jump back to the object manager. Let's go down to leads. In the lead object, once again, down in search layouts, we're gonna to go to the default layout. We're gonna edit that. And we're gonna make sure that the begin phone burner session is added to the selected buttons menu and then save. We're also gonna jump over to the search layouts for Salesforce Classic and do the same thing here for list view. We're gonna edit. And we're gonna make sure that begin phone burner session is added to the selected buttons menu. So once again, if it's over on the left, make sure you add it to the right and save those changes. Okay, so now that we've ensured that the option to begin a phone burner session has been added to both the leads and contacts objects. Let's take a look at, at how that is gonna look in those objects. So let's jump over to our sales. And of course I'm jumping to the sales app, but you can go anywhere, anywhere you go to have access to the leads or contacts objects. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the leads object. Now keep in mind the dialing is all list based. So you're gonna have to create a list view in either leads or contacts in order to launch a dial session. So here you can see I don't have any recently viewed records. So let's go ahead and just open up the all open leads view. That's going to give me a list of records, a list of leads. And we're going to confirm that the begin phone burner session button is an option when we're looking at a list. And we're going to do the same thing in contacts. So go to the contacts object. We're gonna go ahead and load a view. And here you'll see the begin phone burner session. As you can see, that's how easy it is for you to add the option to begin the phone burner session buttons to the leads and contacts objects within your Salesforce environment after you've installed the app. Now, technically at this point, you could actually start making calls using phone burner, but I would highly recommend that you continue going through the training and continue configuring your account for maximum success. But that's it for this training. Thanks again and happy dialing.